Imagine living into your 80s, 90s, or even to over 100 years old without actually aging, meaning that you maintain the same energy, strength, and vitality you had in your 20s and 30s throughout a long, unhealthy lifespan. This may sound like science fiction, but some experts are convinced this is exactly what is possible by using NMN supplements. NMN stands for nicotinamide mononucleotides. They are made naturally in our bodies to produce energy and build our DNA. Some people are boosting the level of their NMN with supplements to help them live longer and healthier lives. But this topic remains controversial. Many experts claim the research into NMNs is overhyped and the US government recently banned the sale of NMNs as supplements. So who is telling the truth? Is NMN the fountain of youth we've all been searching for? Or is it another fad that will soon disappear into the dusty archives of history. Welcome to the channel. My name is Jabril. I'm a pharmacist based in the UK, bringing you the latest breaking news in the world of health and well-being. Have you subscribed yet? And make sure you stay all the way to the end of the video because I'm going to reveal if after examining all the evidence, I decided to take NMN supplements myself. So to understand how NMN supplements can allegedly reverse aging, let's start by explaining what happens when you take NMN supplements. NMN is converted into NAD and the body is then able to use NAD to generate energy, rebuild DNA and manage cellular stress. Think about NAD as the body's credit card, which it uses for important daily tasks and the idea is that we take NMN supplements to top up this credit. Leading longevity experts such as Dr. David Sinclair believe if we can boost the level of NAD, we can pretty much get the aging process in reverse gear and keep it there. That means someone who is in their 80s can feel and move like in their 30s and 40s. Those are some big claims. So let's look at the available scientific evidence that support the use of NMN. Studies have shown the level of NAD declines sharply from middle age. And some claim this explains why we tend to get more frail and sick as we age, and why taking NMN supplements to boost NAD levels makes sense. There is research data to show people with age-related diseases such as diabetes and liver disease may have lower levels of NAD. NAD also activates molecules called sirtuins, which help repair DNA and play a vital role in preventing a plethora of age-related diseases. Research done in mice at the University of Colorado showed boosting NAD levels actually reversed age-related damage to blood vessels. Further research has shown higher NAD levels can have benefits in cancer and heart disease prevention, jet lag, and improving athletic performance. Although we don't have many human studies exploring the benefits of taking NMN, we do have a few. One interesting study looked at how taking NMN affects athletic performance. In this study, 48 runners aged 27 to 50 took oral NMN supplements at 300, 600 and 1200 milligrams per day for six weeks or placebo. At the end of the six weeks, those who received NMN on top of their regular exercise training had increased aerobic capacity compared with those who received just a placebo, and the higher doses produced greater increases. The researchers speculated that NMN helps deliver more oxygen to the muscles, improving athletic performance. Another small study gave NMN to a group of pre-diabetic, obese, and overweight women. It gave each woman 250 milligrams of NMN per day for 10 weeks. Those who took NMN had increased insulin sensitivity and lowered their risk of diabetes significantly. So that was the argument for taking NMN supplements. But now let's look at the other side of the argument presented by NMN skeptics. They argue the studies are not totally reliable because they are mostly done on animals and not humans. And this is true there are very few large-scale human studies on NMN. Secondly, they argue the link between aging and low NAD levels may be circumstantial. In other words, the decline in NAD levels may have little to do with aging. Aging is an incredibly complex process and not due to any one single factor. 
so this point does carry some validity. It is not entirely obvious if taking NMN supplements actually boosts NAD levels inside our cells. Studies show it boosts levels in the blood, but we need to see proof that it boosts levels inside our cells where it is needed. When in fact, there are studies that show the body actually breaks down NMN supplements before it even reaches the tissue in a process called first pass metabolism. However, the biggest problem with using NMN is starts before you even use it, and it's finding a reliable brand. NMN is an incredibly expensive molecule to make, plus there have been concerns that the market is flooded with low quality brands that don't contain much NMN. In a survey by Consumer Lab in October 2022, an astonishing 14 out of 22 brands contained less than 1% of the NMN stated on its label. Only three brands contained the correct amounts. But taking supplements isn't the only option for anyone looking to try NMN. Some foods have naturally high levels of NMN. These include the following, avocados, broccoli, cabbage, tomatoes, and raw beef. Another challenge with using NMN is deciding what dosage to use. Studies have reported benefits from doses as low as 250 milligrams and as high as 1200 milligrams. But the good news is, is that NMN appears to be safe even at higher doses. The story of NMN doesn't end there. As I mentioned earlier, the US government recently banned the sale of NMN as supplements. The reason being is that a company is now investigating NMNs as a potential drug. And US law does not permit any product being investigated as a drug to remain on sale to the public. Some consumer groups and experts are furious about this decision and accuse Big Pharma of lobbying the FDA to further their own interests. By regulating NMNs and eventually hiking up the price, some Big Pharma companies stand to make a lot of money. So this story is becoming political as well as medical. So here is my two cents. Do I think NMN supplements are beneficial? 100%. Whether that extends to prolonging life or reversing aging, that remains to be seen. That will only be determined once we have long-term human studies. And when I say long-term, I'm talking about 10, 20, 30 year long studies. The biggest challenge without a doubt is finding a reliable brand. And in the US, you might not find a brand at all because it's recently been banned. On a personal level, I've decided I am gonna try uh, NMN supplements and I will assess the benefits I get from taking them using cold, hard facts. Things like blood work, analyzing my exercise performance, and I will only continue with them if the benefits are tangible and measurable. And I think this is a sensible approach to take. What about you? Um, have you taken NMN supplements or are you thinking about taking them? If you've taken them, let us know in the comments below how you found them. And if you are still debating whether to take them, also let us know in the comments what's stopping you or what's making you lean towards trying NMN supplements. Until next time, take care.